Good evening. I am so sorry that this is coming so late, but I don't have to tell you that um, everything's just been crazy. I'm pretty sure in everyone's household as everyone is navigating online learning and my house is no different as I'm working with Grace, um, who has never really done online learning and um, it's just put us in a whirlwind and um, hopefully we're coming out on the other end. She's getting a little bit more into some habits. Um, they didn't stop classes at all. They've just continued with online and so uh, she's in her second week and it's been something that's for sure so um, sorry again it's coming late I know I look like a hot mess but it's just been a long day and I did not want to end this day without speaking to you guys um, I do want to start off by saying I am so sorry about what's going on with your senior year and um, my heart is just going out to you but you know God's hands in everything and wow what a cool story you're gonna be able to tell your children and grandchildren that you graduated the year where everyone was you know stuck in their house and um, mandatory you know isolations and whatnot so it could be like a really cool story um, but uh, I you know my heart is out to you guys um, I'll talk about it a little bit later hopefully some opportunities that we can actually have a classroom environment I touched on it a little bit last week um, but I'll get back to that uh, I want to talk about this week and everything that we're going to be doing um, I know this week as, as you see on your syllabus we were doing a literary analysis and I know that we, I said that we were going to be doing Hamlet um, but I just feel like, you know, I'm Hamlet it out. I'm pretty sure you are. We had some phenomenal discussions, and so I feel like we really kind of wrapped that up, and I'm, I'm good with that. If you look at your syllabus, you'll see that I had already had it scheduled that we were going to be doing the Garden of the Forking Paths, uh, which is written by Jorge, Jorge Luis. Luis. Um, and um, it's Jorge Luis Borges, sorry. Um, and... It is just such an interesting story. I've done this before uh, with some other classes. Um, I think that we're going to get a lot out of it just because um, we just had such phenomenal analysis and classroom discussions on Hamlet. In fact, I have to tell you, and I'm not just telling you this, but of all the years I've taught Hamlet, that was probably the best um, just because of how you guys just... Um, really delve you know dove into it and we just uh, really unpacked a lot of really cool things with that and I believe that that can happen with this um, so um, I really wanted to shift gears and do something a little bit different uh, bring it up to date just a little bit more now in your module I have already loaded in the short story um, I have not put in your discussion board yet but I will be doing that but this is the hitch on all of this okay so I want you to write this down to make sure that you are staying in alignment I know that when we typically do literary anything with literature we're always doing background and all that good stuff this is gonna shift gears a little bit I don't want you to just yet um, just because of this story and it's uh, it's just unique um, I want you to be the literary detective at first um, I can already hear the grunts. <laughs> I can hear them in my head. Um, but this is going to be fun. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to print off a copy of the short story. Um, anytime that you're doing analysis, I strongly encourage you to do that because I want you annotating. This particular story, I want you to do a first run through of it. I do not want you to get into detail or depth with anything in it. I need initial responses. Things that I'm the things that you're looking for, um, you know. Obviously, you'll see in the title that it's 1941. Do you see anything that reflects that? Do you see any themes that just kind of popped out? Do you see any? Yeah, I don't want to go too much because you know I want to get some like goodies away. So, um, any things that just really stand out to you? Are there anything anything that's confusing? Um, you know, what do you think that this story was about? Um, you know, what do you think its purpose was? Uh, so I, I really want those initial responses and especially with this particular short story um, your initial responses are very very important um, because it's not until you start unpacking it and getting deeper then things start shifting a little bit with that to me was like the really interesting part of it so um, please make sure that you do an initial read through and give me some initial um, responses you know what did you think this was about and answering those questions I will give you some things to just to kind of be mindful of as you are creating your discussion board and this is the other thing do not read anyone else's post until after you have posted 
do not read anyone else's initial thread until after you have posted yours. I do not want someone else's insight to, you know, influence you. And so I want this to be raw. Um, if you really want to get something out of this, you really have to play by the rules on this one, please. Uh, so your initial threads will be uh, Wednesday evening by 11:59, and again, it's no less than 300. I uh, that's you know probably going to go over that, but um, just kind of do a really good job on that. Just kind of read through it again. This is an initial read through, initial impressions on this short story. What things just stood out to you? What do you you know? Um, what do you think it's about? Again, uh, please do not read someone's initial thread um, before that. Okay. Um, you will also see on the pacing that I've got two weeks for this, and so you know because I. I do want to have the, the class discussions, which leads me to um, Zoom, I think that's what it is, um, is the class discussion where it's more the interactive classroom. And um, I'm not going to lie, it's new to me. I've been in some trainings. I'm trying to get this figured out as well. Um, that's my goal this week is to figure this out. Hopefully we can have one of our um, virtual classrooms by this week. And what I would like to do is no later really than Friday. And I, it'll probably be during regular class time because that's what you would be used to anyway. Um, so uh, be on the lookout for that. It is um, more than likely going to be coming through Canvas. Um, hopefully all that will work you know, right now with everyone being online. Uh, that's been a, a little bit challenging. As you can tell, I'm posting my... Um, lectures or any of my videos that I'm making you I'm doing it to YouTube and then I'm pulling it in just because canvas is so bogged down right now it's taking forever to download my videos into canvas and it's actually a lot easier for me to post to face uh, YouTube and just give you the link in um, so that's how I'm, I'm working that to you know just kind of make it a little quicker um, so Looking at this and just kind of giving you a snapshot of really what the rest of the, the year is going to look like, uh, we're on to, we're on course to really finish and do everything that we need to do. Um, how is this going to look like for your final debates? Because of Zoom, honestly, I'm thinking about having the debates in the Zoom classroom. Um, and so hopefully we will not have to... Um, worry too much about, um, you know, not having the debates at all. It'll just look a little different, um, but hopefully technology is on our side and, and uh, we can be a little innovative at this time. So, um, but yeah, we're, we're right on target with finishing where we need to. Um, even if they decide to, and I have not heard this, by the way, so please do not go and say, Mrs. Water said, uh, I have not heard that they're extending the school year. I, I know you're, everybody wants to be chatting because I think that's more of a public school thing um, because they have had downtime where I think they may be extending or, or they're working some other things. I don't think that really applies to us. Um, Richmond Christian, and um, just the schools that I know, you know, Richard Bland, even Banner, um, those are the ones that I'm affiliated with. Um, have not skipped a beat and they've just been clicking right along and so we are at a really good pace uh, to finish on time um, the only thing that I would ask is we're all navigating it I know I'm navigating it with a student your parent you probably have other siblings uh, that are going through the same thing your other teachers have students and they're navigating especially if they have more than one in the school um, just if we could just show grace uh, you guys are in a great place because you already know how to do online learning and utilizing um, online resources and uh, so there's more confidence with you guys but um, if you could show some grace um, and just be graceful pray for them I encourage them um, I can promise you a lot of them are a little frazzled right now just trying to find balance and trying to get into this new norm um, but you guys um, are just such great kids and I'm just I'm so proud of you and I know that you guys are going to be the encouragers that I know that you are so um, as always if you have any questions let me know now I will tell you this because we know that this is our new norm um, and I haven't seen anyone utilize it yet but the discussion that's pinned it's like the class discussion. It's the open discussion for anyone to have questions. It is pinned in the discussions tab at the top. 
Um, that becomes even more important. Um, and again, to continue that classroom conversation and interaction, uh, that is just a great place to do that. So post questions, um, comments, need clarification, or you know, if you find something interesting, you want to put that out there, that's fine. Um, but I would really like to see you guys utilize that a little bit more, just as a different, a, another opportunity to have classroom engagement. Um, so that is basically it. I just wanted to reach out to you guys and just kind of let you know where um, I'm at and I'm rooting for you and you're just really in a good place and please know that I'm here for you. I'm praying for you guys. Um, I have, you've been on my heart all day long um, just because you're seniors, but you know, again, what a cool story. So, you know, it's all perspective and how you look at it. So um, you guys have a fantastic evening and uh, just keep an eye out for announcements and um, and the assignments that are due. So this week is basically reading through this, doing your discussion boards, and then um, just kind of be on the lookout for um, hopefully our online uh, classroom discussion through Zoom this week. So um, blessings to you all. Love you so much, and um, I'll see you later.